is in her mid to late 20s. Hair brown. Blood warning now. Eyes gray. What happened to you? What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. This is going to be a review for the 2016 horror film, The Autopsy of Jane Doe. The Autopsy of Jane Doe was released on. Um, it was released in 2016, but uh, it didn't come out in. It didn't get like any official releases. I I don't think until like mid 2017, early 2017. The film is directed by Andre Overdahl, and it stars uh, Owen Kelly. Emil Hirsch and Brian Cox those are our three central characters that I those are the only three that I'm going to bring mention of because there are three central characters uh, the movie revolves around those three actors for the majority of the film uh, this film follows a father and son cor a group of a pair of father and son coroners in the uh, in a local small town they investigate the death of a girl who was found at the scene of a crime where it appears that other people around her were also murdered uh, her she's not able to be identified so she's classified as a jane doe and when the father and when the pair of coroners start investigating her or start uh performing the autopsy on the body they start to discover a lot of bizarre details surrounding this uh jane doe when i first saw this film i was uh i was intrigued at how genuine these scares were because some of the scares in this film they don't come from jump scares they're coming from the actual fear of you're right along with this father and this these pair of uh father and sons you're right along with them you're trying to figure out well what the hell is going on with this jane doe what is what is going on with her why and as soon as she as soon as she shows up there on the scene and they start doing the autopsy a lot of weird things start happening around these these two uh corners the uh rate the radio that they have in the room starts playing random songs and random noises uh the weather starts to starts to be affected by her presence uh the lights start flickering uh the corpses that are in the uh room already with them they start moving around on their own a lot of bizarre things start happening once they perf start performing the autopsy on this jane doe and everyone in this film does an amazing job everyone holds their own while the characters are not fully fleshed out they everyone here gives an amazing performance uh you genuinely care about these characters well i wouldn't say you want to see them necessarily succeed but you become invested right along with them you want them to at least finish this autopsy you want to see them finish the autopsy you want to find out as much about jane doe as uh they do I, I like how that film how the film kind of puts you in the same position that they are in it's, it's almost as if you guys are performing the autopsy right along with them and that's what i appreciated about this film how it takes the audience and it puts them in the same boat with the characters no one knows more the characters don't know more than you and you don't know more than the characters of course as you're watching the film you may start to put clues and pieces together but eventually you will come right back to the same spot that the characters are at and everyone is on the same the same page for the majority of this short film this film is rather short it's like around an hour and 28 minutes if i'm not mistaken uh the cinematography in this film is very well done like i said the acting in this film is amazing everyone gives a solid performance uh the soundtrack there's a song in particular i can't think of the name of it right now but if you've seen this film you know what i'm talking about it plays at the end of the film uh, I think that that beautiful that was beautifully attached to this film and I think they played that song at all the right moments in the film to build up the tension and the suspense that was already established by the bizarre uh, events that occur in the film every other scene in this film is rather disturbing because you don't know what is going on here uh, and then when you do start to find out what's going on because you do find out in the end what is going on and where this person came from and also who Jane Doe is that is where the film starts to fall apart again it all goes back to a lot of what the downfall is with a lot of other horror films when you start to expose too much about your villain or too much about uh, the mystery of the film that's when a lot of films start to decline in a big way because what this film does is it ex it explains Jane Doe and it gives the audience information as to who this person could be Nothing is concrete, but there's enough clues hinted at it 
as the film goes on and as the uh, the father son duel, they start pulling back things from the body. As the film is going on and as more clues become exposed, anyone who's familiar with certain uh, real world events, you may be able to figure out what's going on here right before the very end. Um, I kind of did this. I had hunches of what was going on and then the film confirmed them at the at the very end when it was uh, reiterated in front of me on screen once the uh, father and son put two and two together as well. I did not really dig the backstory of Jane Doe, but I do like how the plot twist was rather logical in a way. That's the only thing I liked about it. I don't think it was necessary to know what was going on with her. There clearly was something supernatural here going on and you find out what that is in the end uh i don't think so what the problem is with that while they revealed what was going on it wasn't as once they did that it, it was no longer as compelling because what was interesting and intimidating about the film was the lack of you not knowing what was going on and then once you know it kind of takes away from some of the scares that occur after the fact that's just my opinion on it I feel like this film would have benefited more if we never found out what was going on with Jane Doe. Um, and like I said, the film is rather short. It's an impressive short film. It's not a short film, but you get what I'm saying. It's an only an hour and 30 minutes. It's a very impressive film for such a short runtime. Uh, everyone does an amazing job. It's directed well. The cinematography is amazing. Uh, I love the colors, the coloring in this movie. I think those are absolutely beautiful. I think the design of the uh, the morgue where the where the father and son are, I think that's amazing. The uh, the outside effect, the outside imagery of the uh, the other scenes of the other uh, set the set pieces that we have in this film, I think those are all constructed very well. This movie is not a bad film. Uh, it could have been, in my opinion, it could have been a great film, but at the end of the day, it ended up being a solid, enjoyable film that I would say is good. On a scale of one to 10, I would give The Autopsy of Jane Doe a solid six and a half out of 10. I love this movie. I recommend it to anyone who is a fan of the horror genre. If you haven't seen this movie, go check it out. If you enjoyed my review, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe and turn on post notifications. In the description of the video, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies you would like me to review in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the future for the next review.